Software engineering is a bit like learning an instrument. If anybody has learned the guitar, it's really painful at the beginning. You have to play all the chords, your, your fingers hurt, everything sounds really bad, uh, it takes forever to learn. Coding is kind of the same. You try to build your first website and it looks, it looks like it was built in the, in the early 90s, you know, and then you make another effort and it looks a little bit better and then you learn another trick and then it works a little bit better and so on and so forth. So the best way to learn is to do. I knew from a very young age, probably from around seven or eight, that I'm, I'm a bit of a geek, you know, I like computers. Um, I remember my dad bought me this book which was about the basic uh, programming language and it was a little bit like a story that taught you all the basic components of a computer program and how a computer is built and so on. And from that age I realized I'm excited about computers and I like uh, writing computer programs. Uh, so then when I had to decide to go to school I decided I wanted to do engineering. Then I ended up doing a PhD in electrical engineering. And then when I finished with that I had two options. Um, either I would go to academia or I would go to industry. And the most interesting thing that industry was doing at the time, that I was using algorithms and computers, was online advertising. Before Twitter, I had started my own business with uh, two other friends. We built a small company called AdGrowth, which was in the online advertising business. We were working very, very hard. Startup working hours are pretty much 24-7. We launched our product around February, March, and we got quite a bit of press, and as a result of that press, Twitter noticed us. They saw that we are a small team building an interesting product in the online ads business. At the same time, Twitter was also building out its own ads engineering team, so they reached out to us and asked us whether we wanted to, to join Twitter. I came here to talk to the people and see what they had to say about the business, and it felt really exciting to be here. We accepted it. And I'm very happy with the fact that we did that choice. It's a great environment to be in. You get a lot of freedom in terms of what you want or don't want to do. It's a little bit different compared to how things work, not only in Greece, but I think in Europe in general. The role of management is not to tell you what to do exactly on a day-to-day -day basis. The role of management is to help point you in the right direction and to also unblock you in case you find any obstacles that are very difficult for you to take care of. Organizationally, things are quite flat. I feel like I have the freedom to go talk to anybody I want. If I had some serious issue that I wanted to bring up with a CEO tomorrow, he would be happy to talk to me. A lot of the companies in the Bay Area take internships. They're definitely paid internships. Twitter can do all the paperwork for you regarding visas and all that. You can come here, get a good experience, see how it is like living in the Bay Area, see how the tech business works. I think it's a really good opportunity for anybody living in Greece right now. I see myself staying here for a while, uh, but at the same time, if I were to do something else, I would like to work on a company or a product that helps others help themselves. And I would like it if that was somehow related to Greece. I don't know if that would be a way to help people back home find jobs more easily, or help with the way that education works back home, or help families that are in need and are down and out, and there's a lot of them back home. But I would like to do something that would help my home.